What's the problem? I haven't got a problem. I've got fucking problems. Plural. TEPCO has begun constructing giant frames for plastic sheets to cover damaged reactor buildings in an effort to prevent spread of radiation. On Monday, TEPCO started assembling the first frame at Ohanahama ports, some 50 kilometers away from the nuclear power plant. Workers put together the steel frame from gigantic pillars and beams with a 140 meter tall crane. The frame will support a huge polyester cover for the number one reactor building. TEPCO is prefabricating the frame to hold a sheet measuring more than 40 meters long, 40 meters wide, and 50 meters high. The goal is to minimize workers' exposure to radiation. TEPCO hopes to ship the frame to the plant by late July. It plans to assemble similar coverings for the damaged number three, four reactor buildings. Radioactive material has been detected in sludge from wastewater treatment facility in many parts of Japan since the crisis began at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The government announced guidelines on how to dispose of the sludge on Thursday and informed 13 prefectures of the decision. The guidelines say that disposal facilities with filters will be used to prevent radio radiation leaks from the fumes created when sludge is burned or dissolved. They say sludge containing radiation of more than 100,000 becquerels per kilogram will be stored at facilities tightly shielded by substances like concrete. The guidelines also say that the sludge containing more than 8,000 to 100,000 becquerels of radiation can be buried in waste disposal sites after steps are taken to limit local residents' annual maximum exposure to 10 microsieverts. They say sludge with readings of 8,000 becquerels or less can be buried after thorough waterproofing measures have been taken, as long as the disposal sites are not used for housing purposes. Look at that! That is a complete fucking fraud, and it looks 100% real! The U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, or the NRC, is questioning whether nuclear plant operators in the United States are sufficiently prepared for natural disasters. The committee has been reviewing nuclear plant safety standards in light of the disaster at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Meeting in Washington on Wednesday, the NRC reported that the emergency equipment at some American nuclear power plants has not been properly maintained. They also said plant workers are not sufficiently trained to avoid serious accidents. Some members additionally voiced concern that the nuclear industry's voluntary guidelines for serious accidents are not being properly implemented. Currently, plant operators can decide on their own whether or not to reinforce vents to relieve pressure and avoid explosions inside the reactor buildings. Some members additionally voiced concern that the nuclear industry's voluntary guidelines for serious accidents are not being properly implemented. Currently, plant operators can decide on their own whether or not to reinforce vents to relieve pressure and avoid explosions inside the reactor buildings. Are you kidding me? The commission plans to issue an interim report in mid-July based on the lessons learned from the disaster in Fukushima. Tokyo Electric Power Company plans to open the doors of the number two reactor building at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant to provide ventilation and lower the humidity so restoration work can begin. The humidity inside the building has been extremely high due to moisture apparently coming from the containment vessel and the spent fuel storage pool. TEPCO said on Thursday that an air purifier that's been operating since Saturday has reduced the radioactive concentration inside the building to levels that will have little impact on the nearby environment. The utility said the concentration of radioactive iodine in the air has been reduced to about a tenth of formal levels and radioactive cesium to about a quarter as of Wednesday night. TEPCO thinks that the radiation released as a result of opening the doors will be below the permissible annual limit for ordinary people of one millisieverts. The company plans to open the doors after getting approval from the government's nuclear and industrial safety agency and local governments. What do you say? Why don't you look me in the eye and say that? I would if I could, but I can't. I'm blind. You're blind? Yes, I'm blind. How can I have the job? 
I had no idea. I'm sorry. Now you know. Can I get the job? You're really blind? Yes, I'm really blind, man. What are you, fucking deaf? Yes, I'm fucking deaf! Yokohama City, located 100 kilometers from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, has begun radiation testing of vegetables for school lunches. The city started the test on Thursday in response to parents' concerns about whether the food served in schools is safe for their children, given the widespread fallout from the Fukushima plant. Lab technicians cut up two kilograms of green peppers and put them in a machine that measures radiation. Yokohama will test one type of vegetable per day and will publish the results on its website. A city official says all the food purchased by Yokohama is safe for children, but it decided to conduct the test to so that the parents will feel reassured. Safe food is vital for our children, so I want food testing. I'm not too nervous, but having information will be better than nothing.